Not to then or anything, but I've never had a boyfriend before, so I don't know what to do. I've been craving and burning to be held by a man! Yeah, get in line, bud. You aren't special because you can't live out your dreams of being held in the arms of and feeling safe in the loving embrace of a taller and physically stronger man. Hi again, guys, and sorry for the wait on this. Y'all hit the like goal on that homophobia is funny actually video. Raises a lot of questions about what you guys are into, but so be it. And as I promised, like an idiot, today we're going to be looking at a webtoon that has been setting Twitter, YouTube, ads and the queer community on fire. Boyfriends. Plural, that is. As in, like, multiple of them. Like, way to hog them, bro. And I know in the last video I said I was gonna be covering everything about boyfriends, but, uh, I lied. <laughs> because there was a lot more content for this thing than my dent head brain realized. I got, like, halfway through the comic and realized that there were still 60 more chapters. Trust me when I say that the animations that come with this comic on their own could sustain a view-hungry commentary channel like me for weeks. I think you guys will thank me for pacing this out when you see how much we've got on our hands. That being said, if this video gets enough 40,000 likes, I will make an in-depth, dedicated video to reading the entirety of the source material Boyfriend's webtoon. All 120 plus chapters. I know it has pictures, but you guys know I can't read, so this is a big step for me. If you guys enjoy this video, there will be this big card at the end that takes you to that homophobia video I was talking about. I swear it's not what it sounds like. Also, did you know that only like 20% of y'all are subscribed with notifications on? I'm literally crying and peeing myself over this. Seriously though, subscribing and hitting the bell takes like two seconds. You'll be sure not to miss that video talking about the original comic and it would mean a lot. Plus, you can always undo it if you decide you hate me. Now, especially with a topic like this, I want to preface this video with a few disclaimers. One, don't go after anyone who made these animations. All the ones we're talking about today are fan-made from what I've seen, and even if you think they are cringe, they are ultimately harmless, and you shouldn't be tearing these fellas a few new holes over making them. Hell, one of the people who commonly makes them themselves has their own video tearing into the official Boyfriend's Webtoons animation. He's just like me, for real. Two, if you enjoy Boyfriend's, the webcomic, I don't care. That's totally cool. In fact, I'm glad you found something you like. Keep doing that. And three, I'm not here to just shit without wiping all over the original creator. I'm just trying to do some research and explore this little artifact of internet culture. Ah, uh, the student council meeting is really giving me headaches. Uh, uh, business week is around the corner. We're still debating about the budget. That bad, huh? You want to cuddle to de-stress? Um, come here, you. There, there. Ah, here we have two of our four main characters. None of these people have names, by the way. They are just the stereotype they are presented as. If I told you one of these was literally named Goth and the other one was named Prep, which one would you guess is which? This isn't a trick question, by the way. It's exactly what you think. What? Not everything I say to you in videos is a lie to make you feel stupid. Just most of it. There, there. Uh, we do this all the time. Sorry, guys. I gotta get off my... But carpet. why does this feel different? Uh, you want to talk more about it? No? Well, okay. You can just chill on my lap then. Want hot chalky. I want walkie. I need my lean now. The blonde dude moaned twice in the space of 10 seconds and they sounded identical both times. I don't know if they just used the same take from the voice actor to save time since they're probably making this on a toddler's piggy bank budget. But if those are two separate recordings, then that motherfucker can use their vocal cords like a soundboard. They can just make an identical noise as the last one they made on command. What's that? You want some hot cocoa? Wait here for a sec, then. Now that we're dating, everything's changed! Ah! Nothing's really changed. The animation we've been watching is the one I see people on Twitter posting reaction gifs of their eyes melting the most to. These are all really short and honestly super efficient. They cram a lot of wince in a less than 60 second package. And I'll tell you this, these animations are some of the most faithful to the manga adaptations ever made. They legit just took the original chapter it was based off of, episode 31 in this case. I don't know why they're called episodes instead of chapters. Maybe because it's a webtoon and not a webcomic. Who cares? Either way, they recreated it panel for panel, just filling in the spaces in between. And they did it in a way that genuinely doesn't look that bad to me. You know, me, someone who's incredibly qualified to talk about this. Just a fella who doesn't know hog shit about how animation works. I'm really hooked on this, so I'm kind of just gonna run into the next episode because I need to know what happens. Yes? Oh, you didn't tell me you're coming by. Um, I was wondering if I can stay the night in your dorm. Of course. Come on in. I will give you one guess what the tall buff guy wearing a varsity jacket's name is. If you get it wrong, you haven't spent enough time on TV tropes. It's literally just Jock. This animation is based off of episodes 31 and 32, which I have read up to in the webtoon. I am a manga reader first. But you fellas who aren't that up to date on canon have no way of knowing that at this point in the story, all three of these people are dating. And there's also a fourth person who I will make you meet later in this video. Uh, spoiler for the boy. Boyfriend's comic. Sorry. 
So, let me get this straight. Dude, nothing about this is straight. You two have been together for years, but not together together. Yet he takes care of you, tucks you to bed, kisses you goodnight, and you've never really processed that he has a thing for you until recently? Well, if you put it that way... There's that same goddamn moan again. He pushes a button to make it happen, I swear. Also, there's like one frame where Jock has his eyes closed, and then he moved his eyebrows down, and it made it look like he had two separate sets of eyes. One's for looking at the physical world, and the other is for seeing if you like men. Wait, I'm not finished with that bottle yet. No, you're getting too drunk. Either way, it's time for you to stop drinking, mister. Oh, please, I've been a good boy. God, doesn't watching that just make you want to crush a rabbit with your bare hands? Don't actually do that, by the way. You would think that's an obvious joke, but if you watch the second channel, you know that's apparently something I have to worry about my viewers doing. I honestly think these animations get so much flack, not because of the way they're drawn. Like, as an art style, it's not exactly mean to the eyes, and the fluff isn't any more tooth rotting than what you'd see in Tumblr fan art. I think what gets me personally is the points where the voice actors are hitting notes I didn't know it was possible for the human ear to perceive. Anyways, up till now, we've met Goth, Prep, and Jock, so it's time to meet the last member of this DND campaign ass relationship. Watch this. Hey, you okay, man? Uh, uh, uh yeah. Hey, sweet stickers. Pretty Planet Idol Puri, right? You? No, Pretty Planet Idol Puri? Um, I've got the second season on my laptop. If you want to watch it with me sometime. Here, give me your phone. Now you've got my number. See you around, Squirt. I want every young, impressionable gay watching this right now to know that is exactly how romance works in real life. Always invite strangers you met less than 60 seconds ago to where you live just because they watch the same anime as you. Give every person you meet your phone number. I swear it works. You definitely will not find yourself heartbroken, disappointed, and possibly dead. Also, yeah, the blue-haired guy is called Nerd. It's pretty on the nose. He literally has glasses for eyes. He's just like me. He obviously has to be the smart one. How dare he meet a cutie like that before me? Ah! Whoa there, Tiger. You doing all right? I'm fine. Just having a long day of feeling single and lonely. Dude didn't even touch the ground and he's still brushing dust off himself. Is he really afraid of getting that peasant class jock's dead skin cells on his thousands of dollars of designer clothes? You want to talk about it over some coffee? My treat, cutie. Maybe later when I'm not busy feeling unwanted. Was that guy flirting with me? Why am I like this? I have seen more social awareness from potted plants. It's literally impossible to be more forward than Jock calling him a cutie. You know, unless that's some shit he does for every dude he meets and he has a reputation for it. Assuming that's not the case, fellas, can you think of the last time someone outside of your grandmother called you handsome? I didn't think so. Which means he wants to pipe. The Jock I made, not your grandma. I can't believe I got a boy's number. I mean, his preppy friend was pretty cute too. Although... He seemed like he was having a rough day. Well, this guy really is a fucking nerd. Monologuing all of his thoughts out loud like he's some anime protagonist, trying to fill runtime to save on a show's animation budget. Hey, yo, little help? Huh? <laughs> Can I have the ball? Oh, sure. <clears throat> Thanks. Hey, this one's for you, cutie. A third boy? I am on fire! Holy shit, I take back everything I said. This guy does call every guy he meets a cutie. Hell, he's barely even met this last one yet. They've exchanged a single digit amount of words and he defaults to hitting on him. That motherfucker has to be absolutely ran through with man whore instincts like those. Now, the episodes fan animators choose to adapt kind of hops all over the place timeline-wise. So, before we continue, let me give you a little context for this next episode. This one takes place after our boys have paired up into monogamous couples, a uh, nerd with goth and prep with jock. God, what a fucking sentence. But they're at a point where they finally decided to confess that they all have feelings of wanting to get with everybody else in the love square. Love trapezoid? It doesn't really matter, just pick your favorite four-sided shape. <laughs> he makes that same moan when he does literally anything. Listen! We, uh... We have something to discuss with you guys! Oh! Is this what I think it is? We've been doing some talking, and we've decided to take you up on your offer. If you'll have us. 
Oh, of course. I'm so glad to hear that. We've been crushing on both of you for some time, you know? Nerd's tone of voice just sounds like he's lying. I know it's just voice acting, but if I close my eyes and hear the way it's said, it sounds like some schmuck going like, oh my god, no way, I'm so happy to hear that. In the most obviously sarcastic way possible, it does not fit with the cutesy ass yeah face he has on. Wait, even me? W what do you mean? What do you mean, what do you mean? I've been in love with you for years, idiot. Uh, I didn't know that. We've literally f***. On your bed. It's a good way to relieve stress. He's right, you know. Having passionate sex with your homies is a completely platonic act. It is something all guy friend groups do from time to time, so it would be a little bit presumptive to read into it too much. Uh, anyway, you do want to date us, right? Uh, well, We're not looking to just hook up. Yeah, totally. We're thinking of the same thing, too. We don't have any experience in relationships like these, so we're kind of hoping you can guide us. Uh, it sounds like y'all have no experience with relationships, period. All of these guys, no matter how muscular, rich, cute, smart, or charismatic each of them may be, all read as turbo virgins. I would know because I am all six of those things I just listed. Oh, um, actually, I've never been in one myself. Uh... <laughs> Me neither. But I still want to try nonetheless. I mean, we can always talk about it further, but I'm a little too loopy for this kind of conversation right now. Goth is like this comic book universe's Batman. He's had 40 different voices throughout the different videos we watch. Bro would absolutely crush it at those voice reveal videos they do in Omegle, just switching the pitch of their voice from high to low like it's a depressive episode. I really like you guys, so I hope this will work out. Um, also, before I go, can I kiss you? Yes! <laughs> Listen, guys, I know this whole thing is, like, meant to be cringe and makes your internal organs swirl weirdly inside your body, but that doesn't make it any less capable of reminding me how cricklingly lonely I am. And on that note, I am an avowed hater of happy people. I hope the relationship goes up in flames, because if I can't experience love, why should anybody else? I am firmly on the side of all those people on TikTok who see a happy couple just existing and telling them it's a lost cause in every single scenario. Wake up and break up. We'll call you. Uh. Wake up, babe. You just got yourself, like, two more boyfriends. I can't believe this is happening, uh. It's really funny that we managed to sandwich this entire video between the same moaning clip. It starts <laughs> and ends on <laughs> literally the same note. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Remember, 40k likes and I will finish reading the boyfriend's webtoon. Listen, I'm already 60 episodes in, so I kind of want to see how it ends at this point. I am ashamed to admit I am invested. That card I mentioned should be on screen. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe with notifications on. And remember what I said, don't go after anyone I talked about in this video because that's cringe. And this was all meant in good fun. This has been quite and I...